Admiral's log. Today we received word that the Germans have deployed a powerful naval force to the Pacific. We are to engage them in battle as soon as possible. The men are preparing the ships and weapons for battle. As the Admiral of this fleet, I am filled with a sense of determination and pride. We have been training for this moment for months, and I am confident in the skill and bravery of my sailors. We have the latest in naval technology at our disposal, including the newest battleships and submarines. I have also been studying the tactics and strategies of the German Navy, and I am determined to outsmart and outmaneuver them in battle. We will not let them gain a foothold in the Pacific. I have reached out to the French Navy as well. They are fighting the same enemy on another front, and by coordinating them we will be able to defeat this enemy with ease. I know that the coming battle will be fierce, and that there will be casualties. But I also know that the fate of Japan and the safety of our Pacific territories hangs in the balance. We must be victorious, for the sake of our country and our people. I will lead my men into battle with honor and courage, and I know that together we will emerge victorious. Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome to episode 2 of the Rising Sun campaign. I'm playing as Japan in 1910, or at least 1910s when I started, it's now January 1911. Germany and the Russians have just declared war on each other, which puts Germany in four wars at the moment. And of course, this also has an impact on the rest of the relationships across the globe. Right now, it doesn't seem to impact me that much. It kind of benefits me really, because my relationship with the Russians is stabilizing. And because of that, I shouldn't have any issues with the Russians on short notice. The Germans have finally sent out a task force. It is approaching offensively and we must counter its movement. Despite the fact that version 1.1.0 has added task force limits, this one does not seem to be that small. These cruisers are not that heavily manned. They got about a thousand people aboard. And I believe you can get a thousand, no, it wasn't 9,000 people on a task force, or at least I can, but you can research limits to improve that. Um, and especially DDs. I mean, these DDs got 89 people aboard. They're probably crowned quarters. They're really quite small. So they got a fairly high amount of ships, but what they do not have is really big guns. I do. I have 13.9 inch guns, and their biggest guns are 8 inches. So these guns ideally aren't going to be that big of a threat against the Mikaho, Notoro, and Okinawa. But there is a bit of a deal with these battleships and battle cruisers. They're not exactly heavily armed. This is a design that was sent in by some of you, by one of you really, and it is not particularly heavily armed. It has 9 inches of armor belt, it's the minimum it needs to get, and that's the only thing it has. No deck armor, no bow armor, no stern armor, nothing. So we're just kind of, you know, sitting here, hoping that we don't get hit. Because even an 8 inch gun can deal substantial amounts of damage. Now, accuracy is going to be a bit of a concern, because these ships are not very accurate. I mean, it's 1911, what can you expect? I think we're going to be fighting at around 7,500 meter range. Now, that will allow the 13.9ers to do some damage, as definitely the 8.9ers will need that range. Um, the battle cruisers, the Okinawa and the Toro, interesting designs. A bit odd, but otherwise fine. 12.9 inch guns, giving them a fairly substantial range, although at that range you'll really not hit anything. The problem with these ships too is that they don't have any armor. They got main belt armor and deck armor and that is it. What else do I have? I got the Azuma, Tone, Tatsushina, uh, Nitaka, Tenryu, Noshiro, Akashi, you can join that div. And I got destroyers Hayashimo and Sh Shikinami as escorts of sorts. These are 1,105, 272 tons. That's really exact. All right, the enemy's to the northwest. That's where we're going to go. We're going to scout out the place. I want to have the cruisers in general formations around the battleship. And I want to have the battle cruisers just follow suit. Uh, actually, no. Scratch that. We're going to have the battle cruisers push beyond the battleship. Because these guys, ironically, have more armor than the battleship. The battleship has 9 inches and nothing else. The battle cruisers at least have 14 and nothing else. So what could possibly go wrong? We are now in contact with the enemy. It seems we spotted one of their lead light cruisers and one of their lead heavy cruisers. 
and the guns of the Okinawa are slowly training on the target. Ideally, we're going to focus on the heavy cruisers first, because I rather doubt that we'll be able to hit anything smaller than that. At this range, anyway, at 10 clicks. Uh, there's also a couple of destroyers running around, so I have to keep in mind that the enemy could very well be a torpedo hazard. The Hayashimo and Shikinami are going to have a very interesting life ahead of them, considering that these guns have almost no range. So the only real way that I can make these work... Ooh, that was painful. It wasn't even you. Um, the only real way that I can make these guns work is by just pushing into the enemy. Yep, that's a DD that got a little unlucky there. The torpedoes on the destroyers are only ranging 4 kilometers. It means that they're fast, so the enemy is going to have a slightly harder time dodging them, but at the same time they're going to get detected really quite quickly. Potentially allowing the enemy to still have a defense against them anyway. Now, kind of as expected, the Okinawa, having no armor, is already flooding. So that's a fantastic start. Let's have the battleship engage the heavy cruiser. And let's have these guys target this. Because this is a nice big blob of targets. And if we can do some damage against that, I am all for it. I hope that the lag can be kept to a minimum. But I am... Not too sure about that. We've got a salvo of four torpedoes coming at me, potentially from two different warships. Got to be a bit careful there. The heavy cruisers, I need you guys to start screening for the battle cruisers, ideally. And the light cruisers, well, you guys got a lot of smaller armaments, so you're going to try and push in against the enemy destroyers. That's your objective. Holy crap, there's a lot of torpedoes in the water. Just turn back. Just turn back. I am already missing manual rudder control. Because this is going to be really quite tedious to try and dodge. Not impossible, it's just going to be more tedious by not having control over a manual rudder. Now I am expecting that these DDs start carrying their weight. Because we need to do some damage against the incoming destroyers. Oh, there's another salvo. Just launched against my destroyer. Interestingly. That's the battleship. Oh, fine. We're getting a lot of damage in on these two combined ships. That is two light cruisers of two different classes, it seems. Incoming torpedo salvo. Uh, do I shoot back? I think it's such a waste to go after a destroyer with a torpedo. I mean, the AI doesn't seem to think so. Also, my turrets turn so slowly on these DDs that it's making it really difficult to get guns on target. Steady. Get this as your target. Where are your guns? I'm still getting used to the fact that destroyers now have guns on either side of the ship. And that as such, they can engage both targets at once. If the system works. Which it... <laughs> 100 meters out, and we still can't hit each other. Well, that's progress. That is lovely, that is. Alright, um, what we got there? Another torpedo in the water. Holy crap, what? Oh, there was a heavy cruiser that did that. Heavy cruiser Azuma hit one of these guys with a torpedo? Hold on. If we're going to be launching torpedoes, I kind of need to be aware of it, because if my heavy cruisers... Oh, sorry, no, I damaged the torpedo launcher. That's it. Um, this is going to be an interesting development here. Natoro has an anti-torpedo protection. Not much. There we go. Hayashimo engaging targets on both sides, the V-18 and the V-20. Very good. You guys have no accessibility for torpedoes. You're launching into your own formation? That's an interesting choice. Now, let's turn back a little, because we're getting really quite close to the enemy here. Don't try and dodge their ships. If you run into them, you run into them. Look at that! That was a torpedo hit against the Notoro. So, you just launched torpedoes into your own formation? I guess you don't like your fellows. Not that much. Okay, interesting. 
Let's see if we can start finishing off some of these ships, like the 18. And just thin the number of torpedo launchers here, because it's getting a bit high. So much so that I'm a little uncomfortable with the amount of torpedoes that could, could be sailing around. Not necessarily will, or are, but it's definitely a concern. More torpedoes in the water. Inbound. Best not train that at the battleship, because it will die. Ah, that's one destroyer down. Very nice. Let's see, take out the 24 if you can. The 26 is soon to be reloaded, and so is the 24. Uh, yeah, well, beyond throwing the rudder around, there's not much that I can do. The V20 is also half dead. Nice drift here with the DDs. Look at that. Hello, boys. Oh! Please tell me that was too close. Because otherwise... Hold on, what did you launch at? You did throw a torpedo at my destroyer. <laughs> I guess it was too close. It didn't arm. Oh, wow. That's some Red October level torpedo effectiveness. Um, What we got there? It's the Berlin, Nuremberg, Thetis. And torpedoes, of course. We're going to make a torpedo run against the Nuremberg. It's costing 7.5 million. This thing is costing 3.4. If I can take down a cruiser like that, then I'm all for it. Although, heavy cruisers... Much more expensive. No, cancel that attack. Mop up the DDs first. And we'll just take care of the cruisers after. Everybody focus fire on the 16. It has the potential to mess up the formation if it really wants to. But let's see if we can take it down first. All right, you guys are going to go port side. And try and deal with the light cruisers so the heavy cruisers come open. And can be attacked. Oh, V-20 got in the way there. Torpedo in the water. Okay, the V-20 is probably going to be dead real soon. Even though she's not the prime target. I will take it. Uh, you're engaging the 19? The 20? Oh, you're engaging the 19. No, you're not. You're going to go for the 19. Now, there goes the 20. Please dodge this. I don't want to mess up the formation by taking one of my ships out of it if I don't strictly have to. Um, eliminate the 24 between all of you. Okay, fine. Dodge torpedoes. Whoa! That's really unkind. Okinawa's going to have a problem there. Please dud. That was not a dud. What? How did you suddenly stop? What the hell? Did you see that? <laughs> Have you tried rebooting the ship yet? What the hell? Oh, there we go. All good. <laughs> what was that? Wow, i never seen that before. That's a new bug. Oh, we got torpedoes all over the place here. That's a new bug. Which is surprising, really, because I thought the devs said that the game was almost ready for release. There were some minor patches needed, some minor bugs still in the game, but nothing that couldn't compete with a AAA title or with a full release game, was it? Hey, devs, isn't that what you said? Come on, do some damage here. Nope, missed. All these CLs carry torps. Range of four, so we're just outside of it, but I do want to get a little closer. You can turn back in. Otoro has some flooding, but otherwise we're fine. Both of you, focus on the 19. Because we might hit the 26 while we're doing that. Yep. Secondary is going off against the DD. Primary is going for the light cruiser, Stralsund. Okay. And properly missing everything. <laughs> you know it's bad when a DD overpens a battle cruiser. <laughs> oh man. Best not take this game too seriously. Best not. Come on, wrap up the DD. 
If you would. Don't torp. We're still gonna have to punch through these CLs before I can get the DD to the CA. And the battleship, as much as it tries, is having a rough time getting into range <laughs> at 15 knots. Okay, do better. Ah, damage. Oh, you're bleeding. Uh oh. Collision. Boom. Unexpected ram. Where are you going? I do not understand. Detach from the div and start turning around. No, I don't care for your torpedoes. Start hitting this destroyer if at all possible. I mean, it's only 900 meters out. Even with your accuracy, you should be able to make something work. Nope, you'd think so, but nope. 55% chance. I do suspect that we still have some aiming bugs that need to be ironed out. Over here, you're going to go for the 16 before it torps you to smithereens. Boom! 31,000 damage? Holy shit, dude. That's a lot of damage. I like that. Okay, you guys wrap this shit up, because we still got more targets to take down. You're dead. Alright, very good. You're gonna go and uh, switch to Stralsund. Try not to run into the sinking destroyer. Be a bit bad. CAs. Short range encounters against the CLs. I hope you practice your dance moves, because it's about to be really necessary. Azuma, Tone, and Tatsushina all going in. Only launch torpedoes when you have a good, solid solution. And make sure that you do something useful with your time. Mm, yeah, fine. Hit him. Oh, crap. We just lost all torpedoes. You're going to go and leave the battle area. Not into the torpedo. Perhaps. Just suggesting. CLs. <laughs> so now my CLs are about to fight the CAs. Well, you know what? They might be able to do it. They might just be able to do that. If I can launch torpedoes at these guys, they're going to be in for a rough awakening. I got bow. No, I got port and starboard launchers. That's it. One on each side. Better make it count. You retreat. Not that way. That's where the CAs are. Sorry, CLs are. Good lord, man. The accuracy. Hit something. Thank you. Okinawa, how are you doing? You're still tangoing with three DDs, but they're all out of torpedoes, so by all means, take your time. The problem is, you don't have any armor, so don't take that much time, alright? Target this. The Notoro is getting ripped apart by light cruisers? That's what you get when you don't put any armor on a, light, on a battle cruiser. Ow. Even the light cruiser has more armor than I do. That's a sorry situation. What? <laughs> it blocked it. What sort of HE shells do we fire? Base fuse. And that's not good enough. No, it is not. Okay, switch to armor piercing. We barely hurt that thing. Crap. Torpedo. You're gonna get hit. Not much that I can do to steer that thing out of the way. Let's have a look at the light cruisers. Ow. Focus on Baden if you can. I break up the div. I'm gonna take manual control. You're not going to get hit. There goes the first DD. They've already lost a few more, so it's fine. These things have standard bulkheads, anti torp. Three? Holy crap, I only got 18 inch torps. They're not gonna do that much damage. Turn. Torpedo away on the tender you. But the bottom's already turning. I doubt that she's gonna do anything. Unless the torpedo magically changes direction, which they sometimes do. Not this time. Port side launcher might do something against the York. No, 
not the Notolo to start retreating. I'll just check in in a minute to see which route it's actually going to retreat. Port side launcher. Dude. Why is your port launcher not actively turning towards the target? Desirable outcome. Oh, now you're going to launch torps. At that. At the Nitaka. Okay. Torp this. No, hold. It's lo it's turning. Whatever. Launch it. It's not that far off. It's 700 meters out. Come on, send it. Thank you. That's one. Next target is the other cruiser on the other side. Let's get some damage in. Boom! Almost 700. Really good. Alright, what's the situation with the battle cruiser? Because even though these things aren't very good platforms, I don't want them to be dead. So try to increase speed again and see if you can make it out of the battle. The battleship should now be able to easily work over a cruiser. Uh, what's the Okinawa doing? He's still partying with the destroyers. You are. You're not even listening to what I'm saying, are you? Is this thing even turning? Yeah, very, very, very slowly. No damaged rudder, but that is definitely not an 800 meter turning circle. Absolutely not. Okay, you are going to torp this. Oh, you're going to get torped too. 2,000 points of damage. Flash fire on the Shiro. Oh, this is not good. We have an outbound torp. There goes the Thetis, finally. That's the heavy cruiser's job, right? Yeah, you guys are hunting lights. Excellent. Boom. Another 2,200 damage. They dodged. You're dead. Extensive fire. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Mashiro is busy dumping her, her uh, turrets over the side. You. Intensive fire, you're dead. Ramming? No, it's already dead. Stop hitting that thing, please. Battleship. There's still a lot left. Not a fan. Especially since these cruisers apparently have no issue still throwing torpedoes in my general direction. Here goes the Nitaka. Started off as a really good battle, but the enemy is definitely making a comeback here. Switch your fire to the Dessau. You, if you can, retreat. Because you are a bunch of floating victory points that I'd rather not lose. Okinawa is finally turned around and about to engage the destroyers. Notoro. She's done 39,000 damage, but that was due to her one 31,000 damage hit. So she almost single-handedly did almost all the damage. But it was a bit... Let's say it doesn't paint the full picture. Retreating, retreating, retreating battle line. This destroyer can still help out here. So let's have you follow the Okinawa. If I can sink a couple more heavy cruisers, I'd be really happy. And same for these two lights. Pretty much all that I still want dead. I don't care about all the destroyers, just I want to sink a few. But all of those light cruisers are more of a nuisance than that they really need to get killed off. And I'm not even sure they're worth that much. Definitely a lot of lag here. Because the moment that I have a ship selected, it just starts to lag. the battleship do thin something? 8.5% chance to hit. Yeah, the death is almost dead. Is that your handiwork? Mostly. Good. Keep that up. There goes the Akashi. It's another light cruiser gone. Kone, turn. Boom. Damage to the secondary tower. 
Damage is good. Kill shot is better. Berlin still has torpedoes and is willing to use them. Oh boy. Boom. Torpedo suicided. Another torpedo incoming. Unless I do something now, I think... Oh, never mind. We're fine. Bloody hell, you're getting ripped apart by a light cruiser. Go do something useful. Fire armor piercing into it. Secondary guns, please do something. Primaries rotating toward the target. Ah, the bug is still there. The main guns refuse to fire. I say that, and that's all the encouragement that they needed. And there we go. The Berlin just blocked all the incoming shells. But not that. That destroyed the main gun. Your main tower dead. Main gun destroyed. Not sure. Boom. Fire control damage. That's good. Although it is firing at a battleship. I mean, I'm not sure how much fire control you strictly need. Finish off the Nuremberg, please. That's good damage on the Berlin. The other engagement I still had was over there. Tendrio is trying to limp away. You're going to kill off the V24. And Toro's retreating. Yeah. Go to the battleship, because this is essentially my biggest and most important asset right now. If they torp this... If they torp this, then it's going to be all sorts of annoying. How do you block that? You don't have that much armor. You got a 6 inch main belt with 112%, 115%, so let's say 7 inch. Sorry, 12, 13 inch. Surely this thing can pen more than 13 inches at a kilometer. It can pen 57 inches. But it doesn't strictly feel like it. Send me an HE salvo over. I want to see if we can hit their superstructure and mess it up. Well, at this range. Yeah, we got 5.5 inches of HE pen. Yeah, that helps. The Nuremberg is getting messed up by the Tone, but the Tone is also taking a bunch of fire. This is going to be a really expensive battle to fix. That's a problem. It's going to be an expensive round. Boom. Destroy the funnel. If these guys leave, that's fine. If these guys leave, I don't care. I just want to wrap up with the DDs. Wow, a heavy cru sorry, battle cruiser torping a DD, that's new. Boom. Boom. You're not dead? Huh. Really? That was a couple of solid hits. No joy? Berlin, still taking good solid chunks of damage from the battleship. There goes the 24, that's one DD down. I think the Berlin might flood. Over here, the Nuremberg, similar issues. Good. Well done. That's another light cruiser out of commission. That's not very... Wow! One and a half inch gun hit the battleship main deck and the ammo detonated. Oh, these are such troll battleships. These are such trolly battleships. I mean, they got no armor. These things are a joke. Oh, and the joke is about to get hit by a torpedo as well. Oh, it's a dud. Double joke. Starboard turn. Your speed was bad, and it's probably going to get worse. Seeing as we have... No, we do have all engines. Just that we... <laughs> we slowed down to five knots. <laughs> 1911. What a beautiful era. This killed the DD. The 26 and the 19. We're going to mess these things up. Eventually. AP. We still got a light cruiser group here, but... 
You have torps, you do not. You do not. Yeah, you do. All right. Accuracy, dude. It's a trained crew. So it's either gonna need more training or better equipment. The ammo detonation really cost me a lot of ammo. That's not very nice. That is not very nice. Berlin. Go away. Boom. Secondary tower gone. Miss, miss, miss. Great. This guy's living a fairly blessed life, isn't it? 35 knots on a DD is pretty fast in this era. Miss, miss, miss. <laughs> Okinawa. What are you doing? And I'm getting pinned on the battleship by a light cruiser. Again, with a one and a half inch gun. Apparently those things have such a low muzzle velocity that they just function as a mortar. There goes to the Berlin, finally. Uh, next is this guy here. Coming in awfully close. There's another DD behind it too. Okay. Boom. That killed him. The light cruiser's taking some damage. I don't like it, but we're going to have to push into the CL group here. It looks like we're going to end up finishing all of these guys off anyway. I just need to be really careful and not lose the battleship. Boom. After a long and arduous battle, both sides leave in tatters. Both fleets have been really badly damaged. The Germans lost two heavy cruisers. They lost four light cruisers. They lost six destroyers. I managed to keep my battleship as bad as it is. Two battle cruisers. I kept all of my heavies. I lost three light cruisers and I lost a DD. This gave me a total loss of 4 ships, and with the damage I did, 14,000 victory points. That's a lot more than the Germans got out of this fight, so I do consider it a big win. The real question is, how much of the German fleet is going to be back for round 2? Because I know that my ships are almost entirely out of ammo. They're out of ammo, they're in a bad state. <laughs> no, we're gonna fight to the end, my friend. Um, and the Germans definitely want to try round two, apparently. Lots of crew, massive, uh, well, thankfully got saved, because I don't have that much. And everybody's losing crew, mostly transports. Transports, uh, West Africa, Indian Ocean, South Atlantic, North Oceania. It sucks when you have this many ships, this many colonies, and this little protection. Trade lines between Mexico and France. The British Empire initiates a major offensive from Bechuana land in... Okay. So I'm going to see another land war and another one. Greece has defeated the remnants of the Ottoman Empire and gained full control of northern Greece. Congratulations to Greece. So, where does this leave us? So where are the ships? They're repairing in the Sea of Japan. So they're most likely here. Yeah, this is where all the damaged ships have gone to. That's good. Let's see if there's anybody in here that I absolutely don't need to have survive. <laughs> oh my god. This thing, the Mikaho, it survived the battle, but it's going to take 11 months to repair. Uh, it's going to then take 11 months times 1.5 million to repair. It's a really expensive boat. If I want to build a new battleship, as I am doing, uh, those are going to be more expensive, but also more effective. So I'm going to tell the group not to finish construction on that battleship and instead build a new one. So let's go to ship design. Let's build another Nigitsu class. As for the rest, how is the status of these ships? Commissioning, repairing, seven months. Ah, for the Natoro. That's another one of those troll battle cruisers with no armor. Uh, she did okay during the battle. But 7 months times almost 2 million a pop is very expensive. So you're not getting repaired. 
Uh, the Tone is doing... Well, she did really well during the battle, so that's fine. How about I build a battle cruiser? I haven't designed a battle cruiser yet. Also, this... Yeah, this group is going to go and try and invade the area here, but that might take a while. Right, a battle cruiser. What do I want for the design? Ideally, of course, I would use designs that you have sent in. But seeing as that is not likely or not feasible because I'd have to manually copy it, we're going to have to go with a different battle cruiser. So I'm designing this one. I'm going to make it do counter cruiser operations mostly, so 30 knots. I'm not going to make it very big. I just need it to have a fairly high amount of firepower. I am going to make it sleek. This way it's going to be less resistance in the water. And I believe that the whole form, yeah, the whole form of the Battle Cruiser 3 is definitely best. Semi oil, fourth boilers, best steering, unbalanced rudder, best propeller shaft, and best engineering. Um, highest anti torque. I made double bottom hull reinforced bulkheads. Yeah, basically all the high end protection gear. Now, when it comes to the main tower, I think longer range accuracy is not as important with this ship. I'm looking for base accuracy, and this is going to cost another 120 tons, which could also go into armor. Nine base accuracy is nice, though. I'm sorry, it's going to save me uh, 36 tons. No, in that case, never mind. Unless this thing is massively smaller. No. Okay, secondary tower. Another high base accuracy stat. And this one's going to have redundant funnels. That's pretty awful. 57% engine efficiency. That is pretty awful. Can I plant a bigger funnel here? Yes. And yes, 191% engine efficiency is a lot better. Main guns? Uh, something small, I'm thinking 10s. So that they fire quickly. Because my biggest concern with the last battle was that I just couldn't fire fast enough to get all of those cruisers off my back. So having the ability to do that at ideally not too steep a price would be nice. If I want to build a new Okinawa, it's going to cost me 41 million. This is currently sitting on 26, but it's probably going to increase. Over the medium barbette there. And let's see, if I shift all of this back, actually, I could make like a hunter cruiser with a couple of turrets on the bow. There. Mm, reverse that, please. A bit more. There. It's a bit of an odd design, but I had the loading screen of the... I think it was the Otago or the Otago. And I thought, yeah, that looks interesting. Now, when we're hunting cruisers, we're going to need some bigger secondary guns. This is going to cause a ton of four-weight offset, so I'll also have to do something to balance the stern out. Can I push the whole secondary tower here? Uh -huh. No. Okay, so let's push a tower to here. Throw it on a barbette. Turret, turret. We're still 16% heavy on the bow. How far can we shift this back? Yeah, we're just going to throw on a lot of guns on this thing. It's going to look a little weird. Not going to win any beauty prizes, most likely. Oh! Oh! We got the maximum number of turrets. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, at least our four weight offset isn't as bad. I mean, about 5% is manageable. And put some secondaries casemate eights over there. It's too big. There. Okay, 3-1. Give me max per bed armor. And give me a better loader. Give me a better hydraulic system. There we go. Now give me 2 inches of superstructure armor, 12 inch on the conning tower, and give me about 9 inches on the main belt, 4.5 fore and 4.5 aft. I think something like this is going to do fairly well. I'm not going to boost the barrel length because I want to make sure the reload stays good, and we're currently looking at 28 seconds. As for the propellant, I'm going to go for Dunite Bursting Charge with a Cordite Propellant. I'm thinking semi-armor piercing shells, just big ones. Because with this, with AP, you can pen at most angles. That's the plan. 
When it comes to smaller ships, these 8 inchers are not going to fire fast enough. So ideally, I'd also bring a bunch of 3s. But I have fairly limited positions to put those in. That's not ideal. But at least we get some secondary protection against destroyers and such. The turning circle on this thing is probably going to be really bad for 11. But its primary role is not to hunt destroyers, it's to hunt cruisers. That's what the Germans brought a lot of. So that's what we're going to try and hunt. We're hunting really big German wabbits. Aft 0.6 weight offset is something I can live with. I don't need to max out the whole ship. Um, range is fine. Quarters are fine. I could reduce anti-torp, but I'm hunting cruisers, so I'm expecting to get hit by a torpedo or two. Should we nudge something towards the belt? Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's a ship. That's the Senyo. And these guys, we're going to order two of them. And it does mean that in this era, or this year, I cannot order a new ship, or I cannot design a new ship. We're going to order two of these, and hopefully be able to quickly put them into service. Quickly being a year or two and see if we can use these to do a lot more damage against the enemy cruisers. I'll take two of them. I'm still really generating a lot of money. And beyond, well, maxing out my sliders, I'm not really sure what to put it in. Oh, I'm way over shipbuilding cap. Um, how long are these things going to take? This thing's going to take me six months, that's fine. 24 months for the battleships. 29 months for the battle cruisers. That's interesting. Not what I was hoping. Um, do repairs also count towards the shipyards, I wonder? I would imagine so. So. I'm not building that many ships. But I have a couple on order. That's probably not helpful. Let's see, a ship that's currently undergoing repairs. I can suspend this. Let's see. So we're gonna go to finances. 255-181. And if I want to suspend repair on Tone. Yep. Repairing is now also costing me shipbuilding capacity. So that means I first need to repair what I have before building new ships. So if you're going into a war, you better make sure, you better make damn well sure that you're going to have a lot of uh, spare capacity. Because if you don't, then all of your projects are going to take a lot longer. How much are we doing now? 207, we still need more. So I'm going to also suspend the production of this heavy cruiser. Bloody hell. This better speed up the rest of the production and the best, the rest of the shipbuilding. Uh, yeah, we're going to pause the Kasuga. Alright, we're under. Now I can re-engage the construction of a light cruiser here. Oh, sorry, that's the sail. Battle... No, heavy cruiser here. It's a nice balancing game, this. So if you're playing the campaign, keep this in mind, because this is rather important. This is rather significant. Right. So the Germans and the Japanese have faced off in round one. And the Japanese won really nicely. That's really good. What is happening in Europe? I wonder. Because the French were doing a nice little invasion on Germany. And it's going about as well <laughs> as you can imagine. The Germans having 351 soldiers left. Sorry, it's 351k. And the French 199k. So your major offensive, eh, not doing that well. Anyway, that'll be it for today. That'll be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Let me know what your thoughts are down below, and I'll see you soon for the next episode of this campaign.